Brands today increasingly want to interact with their consumers directly and instill their values and identity in their minds. One of the primary techniques they adopt to communicate effectively with the consumers is by creating unique experiences via experiential marketing. Experiential or below the line as a practice is really catching on as more and more marketers are realizing the significance of conversing with their customers instead of simply communicating one way via mass media. Here's what some practitioners and marketers said on asking about the role experiential has played as a marketing technique and the potential it has going forward. When a new project is launched, it may still be a barren tract of land where, you know, construction has not begun, but you have this lovely apartment which they always reconstruct to show to their prospective buyers. And when you walk in, you're almost walking into your own home. And suddenly the purchase decision is evaluated at a different level. Experiential marketing is the new reality. Consumers actually today would pay for more experiences, would want to experience pre-purchase. So it is a path that all of us as brand custodians will have to tread sooner or later. Experiential marketing is all about enabling personal connections between brands and consumers by creating real-life experiences that are worth sharing. These experiences combine digital and real-world connections to create stronger memories and emotional bonds between brands and consumers. Live experiences are gaining their fair share of the pie in brands' media plans as they appeal to the basic human needs, connecting and socializing. I think it's a round circle. It's coming back to the stage of uh, brands being ex in existence for a purpose more than just in existence for merely an ROI now. It used to be, people used to, brands used to stand up for a purpose. They had a need gap they wanted to fulfill. It's then moved into the ROI model and a lot of pressure on ROI from brands point. But gradually, senior marketeers are also realizing that if you have to look at a three-year vision, a brand of purpose is going to help them more than just being a tactical brand of ROIs. Today, people uh, do not buy a brand because of its quality or because of its, you know, what the brand, what, what the product is all about. What they buy is a purpose. Okay, so if you see uh, examples, the examples of brands which are doing well today, which is Apple and Coke, though I'm taking examples of urban brands, and the same goes for rural, because ultimately whether it is urban or rural, we are talking to people, and people have something uh, which is emotion, and emotion is common across a rural uh, audience or an urban audience. So when we talk to, a, to any kind of an audience, especially to a, a rural audience today, uh, we should start talking about purpose, you know, how we are going to better their lives. And experiential marketing will help them to understand how their lives would become better. So if your brand can take, take the purpose as a route and try to build on that purpose and use experiential marketing and digital integration to drive the message, I think that uh, works wonders nowadays. By combining live engagement, dimensionalized experiences and digital technology, marketers and agencies have found the sweet spot for the products and services of most brands and are giving their customers a window to experience and feel their brand, so much so that experiential or BTL is now a full-blown industry in itself. I think the baby of experiential marketing stood up on his own feet. It obviously has a lot more to accomplish and go forward, but we know that now it's at a stage where this industry in itself can be self-sustaining and it can be called an industry uh, rather than just, uh, you know, in the past where it used to be very few brands believing in uh, engagement. They were more looking at reaching out to masses at an economical cost, but the shifts moving into uh, sustenance relationships with brands. The rationale behind experiential marketing is that consumers, regardless of what they've heard about a product or service, ultimately buy based on how they personally interact with whatever the company offers. That is, it is the experiences of the consumer that result in brand loyalty. 
The goal of experiential marketing thus is to appeal both to the rational and emotional sides people have so the consumer has a product or service experience that is truly memorable something which mass media or above the line cannot provide. I think any organization needs to have a joint strategy and your BTL becomes more effective if your ATL has worked. To give you an example, ATL drives large awareness. I'm making generic statements, but we use ATL to drive total awareness. The minute you are more consumers know about you, your BTL will become more effective. So while BTL may be more measurable and trackable in a business sense of the word, to get more out, more bank for your buck, it has to be a joint strategy where both ATL and BTL do the work for you. Marketers nowadays are increasingly counting on experiential and event marketing as live brand experiences are more capable of engaging audiences effectively in a big world which is full of digital, sometimes impersonal marketing. Engaging with the customer one-on-one, -on -one, which, in, in, which you can club in the larger segment of BTL as well, is extremely important specifically for financial services and more important for housing finance and home loan simply because these products or these services are perceived to be extremely complex by the customer. And hence, a face-to-face -face interaction always demystifies and simplifies the offering for the customer. Normally, how you sell your product? Through your brochures, you know, through some communication. People really don't understand the value addition what we'll have, you know, from those. Once you come and experience it, your whole mind changes. You are, you are much more convinced about the offering than a normal product uh, catalogue. Most marketing strategies are a bit of a gamble. But in case of experiential, the ROI speaks for itself. According to the 2015 Event Track study, events and experiences provide a clear boost in brand perception and ultimately drive purchases. I don't think it's, it's the time to now calculate ROI. Uh, calculation of ROI is, is uh, way ahead because you are still now building the base, you know. You have still not reached people, uh, you have not reached your correct, uh, correct target audience. Cost of acquisition uh, in this business or cost of acquisition from a reach point in this business will be always very high. It won't be as economical as a TV or a print. But then you need to put a balance between just reaching out to a number or really converting that person into a, a fan or a, or a consumer uh, of your own product. There are two different objectives which are being met here. Sales may be the ultimate goal, but the path to the bottom line relies on creating real customer connections. Experiential marketing pulls people into the brand and that's the real ROI.